In this video, we explore the configuration of Cyrotech GPON 11100NT's data and voice service. Let's begin. Open your web browser and enter the public IP address as 192.168.1.1. Enter the username and password as mentioned along with the verification code, then click login. Enter the old password, create a new password, and confirm the password. Then click apply. Enter username, password, and verification code in the appropriate fields. Then, click on the login button to gain access to the router's control panel. On the status menu, click One Connection to view the status of the router up or down and EPON information to view the details of the router's receiving power and in this case, I mean how much power it is receiving. Go to the network section and choose an existing network connection. Then, press the Dell button to remove from the router connection. Then, select the connection name Add New Connection and Enter Mode as Root. Select IP Protocol Mode as IPv4. Next enable VLAN and enter VLAN ID. Select 802.1p47 and enter MTU value as 1460. Enter Username. And Password. Then set service mode as internet. Enable port binding options, port underscore 1, WLAN, SSID 1, and port underscore 2. Then click save and apply to view the status of WAN configuration for data. Click status menu and WAN connection info for status up or down. To configure voice calling, select add new connection on the connection name. Enter mode as root and select IP mode as IPv4. Enable DCP and VLAN and enter VLAN ID. Select 802.1p as 7 and enter MTU value as 1460. Set the service mode as voice. Then click save and apply. Then select internet on the connection name. Click Application Menu and VoIP and change server type to IMS SIP and enter provided SIP address on primary and secondary SIP address column as given. Enable Subscribe Outbound Proxy on Primary Proxy. Then enable Secondary SIP Address along with Register SIP Address. Then enable Line 1 and Enter the account number, account name, and enter password as FTTH at last four-digit landline if it needs at the end. Click Save or Apply button. Then, go to Advanced VOIP Configuration and check inband on twice-dial mode. Then, change the caller ID mode to DTMF and then click the Save or Apply button. To view the status of the voice calling configuration click status to view the status of VoIP then click VoIP information to verify the registering process. It takes a few more minutes to register voice service. Click the status menu and WAN connection info to view the status of WAN up or down and VOIP information to confirm your registration process. Click Network and WLAN. Enter SSID to change and click Apply Changes. Move to WLAN Security to change pre-shared key then click Apply Changes to save your ONT settings.